Everybody ready? <clears throat> Ross, I'm, I'm sure you guys saw the news about Les Miles at, at LSU. Um, so many people talk about how what Alabama has done has kind of turned the heat up on every other program in the SEC. Do you guys think that that's accurate? Um, no, I think, you know, Coach Saban kind of sets a standard, I think, for coaching. And I think, you know, people kind of try to mimic, you know, what our success. They see what we have done and um, just really try to mimic that. So, um, you know, we like to think that we're the standard, but I think, you know, each program has their own goals and stuff like that. And so, um, you know, it's really just I can't, you know, speak for everyone else and all that stuff. So. But the mindset is you either buy in or you get left behind, right? That's when you come here to Alabama if you want to see the field, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we know it's going to be hard coming in, and Coach Saban is very straight up with us right away and says, you know, you're not going to be handed a spot. You have to come in and earn it. And I think, you know, we like that challenge, and that's why we come here. You know, if you're not up for the challenge, then you're not going to fit it at Alabama. So. Is there a different tone now that you guys move into all-out SEC play? I mean, we just know that it's, you know, kind of time to get going and we can't be messing around anymore and I think practice is going to be a little bit different as far as you know focus and stuff like that and we know that um, like I said we can't be messing around and um, you know it's time to go now so. Ross, what does it say about this running game? Coach said that he was a little concerned going into the season with the depth of running back and then starting running back gets hurt. Joshua Jacobs steps right in and has a really nice game. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, that's just a testament to the coaching staff and Coach Burns and the players that we recruit. You know, we come in and um, coach them up right away. And, I mean, I'm sure it's really hard for a young back to get the playbook down, but they've done a really nice job. And, um, you know, it just makes us fun to know that we have guys like that back there that we can trust and put them in the game in those types of situations. So There were a lot of new faces, a lot of, you know, question marks with the offense coming into the season. At this point, how well do you guys feel like you've gelled <coughs> I feel like we've done good. I mean, we've taken each game, taken the corrections that the coaching staff has given us and really grown and just see what we do good and just take it from that and build upon that. And um, we've taken the corrections and tried to get it done in practice and really stress the things that we don't do very good in practice and make it, you know, our strong point. So I think it's been good so far. What have you seen from Jared Williams playing as a true freshman? And obviously, that's maybe a position some fans would overlook, but how, I guess, incredible is it that he's had the success that he's had so far? I mean, I think it's crucial, you know, to have a really good right tackle. And um, I'm not surprised, personally, that he's having this much success. I mean, I knew that he was special right when he came in here as far as just being a young guy like that and how focused and determined he was to uh, have that right tackle spot. And just, I mean, his work ethic is, you know, second to none. So, I mean, um, I'm just really happy for him and that it's all paying off, all the hard work that he's put in. So. Speaking of one more, he was an early enrollee along with Jalen. You know, how beneficial is that, the time you saw through spring ball, to have the knowledge coming into fall camp already of the playbook and what this team's trying to accomplish? Oh, it's huge. I mean, I think, you know, just having that in front of all those other guys, especially if you're trying to fight for a spot, which, you know, those two guys were. So I think it really benefited them. and. Um, you know, like I said, it's paying off for them, and um, you know they don't have to have that learning curve that those new guys do in the summer. You know, they're already ahead of that and they're acclimated. So I think it really helps them out, and um, you know you're seeing it on the field right now. So. Thanks, Rob. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.